Hi Waria, it's Travson here and welcome back to our adventures in Hardcore Classic WoW. Last episode we got to level 10 and we leveled up our professions as well. We also unlocked talent trees and we chose Cruelty. Increases your chance to get a critical strike with melee weapons by 1%. We also learned gun specialization. So I want to get my skill up with guns. But first we have to, we have to buy a gun. So, I'm just going to see if there's any guns on the market. Oh my gosh, guns are expensive. Level range, uh, I don't know, 1 to 10, 1 to 15. Yeah, these are expensive, man. 4 silver for, for the compact shotgun. It's got any stats on it? No, it's just a gun. Well, the thing is, we can buy a gun for like 4 silver at the, the gun shop here in Ironforge. So. We're going to have to earn some coin, guys. Because I want to go back to Elwyn Forest and deal with these Murlocs. But. We won't do that. Until we get a gun. Last thing you want to do is walk into. Like five Murlocs. They'll just get completely wrecked. You have to have a gun for Murlocs. Because at least if you do a bad pull, you can start moving. You can start running. And Warrior's rough, because like if we make one mistake, we're dead. That's pretty much how it goes. Until we get our engineering up to the point where we can make target dummy dummies. And then once we have target dummies and then our AoE fear, we at least have a little bit of an, an escape. So today we're going to just go out, we're going to slay some boars, we got to level up our cooking. We're going to be mining some copper ore. And we'll probably do one of these quests here. I'll pick up, uh, we'll pick up a few of these quests. Maybe we'll do them. Today is mostly going to be about just farming some silver so we can buy a gun. And then with our engineering, with engineering we can make some light shot because we did craft some copper bars last episode and some rough blasting powder so we'll make a little bit of light shot and then we'll have some ammo for our gun that we crafted ourselves how about that it's a cool thing about being an engineer you know you make your own ammo and that's why we're we're going to be using a gun Okay. All right, so off to Karanos we go. I do want to get back to uh, Helwyn Forest, though, as quick as we can. We have our warrior tr trainer quest. Our warrior's training with Lyria Dulac. We have now unlocked that, so we want to get that going as soon as we can. I was thinking about just doing that today. That probably was probably that was probably the smart decision. But <laughs> we're going to make some coin and get a gun. That's instead. <laughs> See, hopefully we don't die. Because the thing is, we were going to le learn our stances. Like, at least one stance, I believe. And that uh, helps quite a bit. So let's check out Frostmane Hold, guys. You got my attention? Frostmane Hold, I'm behind on my report and could use your help, Travisine. I just managed to find where the trolls are holed up, but I saw so many trolls, I was afraid to go in. Here's what I need. Go down to the cave, poke around inside, kill a few of the trolls, then come back here. Take the road north out of Karanos. When you get to the bridge, follow the frozen river west until you reach Iceflow Lake. You'll find Brunal Village in the west bank. The hold is southwest of the village. Off with you. Off with you. All right, so this is going to be a scary uh, quest, guys. We're going to a troll cave. They're around our level. Can't mess around the tr in a troll cave. <laughs> no messing around there. What's on your mind? It's going to be tough. Warrior training. We got anything? Rend rank two and blood rage. Blood rage is pretty damn good. We can't afford these, so. Watch your back. It's all good. Mirror and storm pike. 
Hello, warrior. You show a lot of promise, and you still need to learn some tricks. The Mirren Stormpike is just a dwarf to teach you. You can find Mirren at the Hall of Arms in the military ward of Ironforge. Talk to him when you're ready to learn what it is to be a warrior. Very good. Hmm. Sounds a little bit safer. So maybe the in Ironforge has their own warrior quest, too. I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. Pick up this quest up here. We're probably going to do the warrior quest, like 100%. Operation Recombobulation. Upon further analysis of Nomoragon's situation, it would appear as though we not only failed to eradicate the Trogs, but we also happened to turn most of the Gnomish race into horrific, mindless evil doing leper gnomes. Ozzy and I plan to reverse the horrible leper effect with our latest invention, the Recombobulator. The machine is almost complete, but we are in dire need of some restability restabilization cogs and gyro mechanic gears retrieve some of the leper gnomes out front of nomoragon for us oh this guy's the leper gnomes gun they're pretty tough i fought a couple of those guys okay so you guys know what we're gonna do we're, we're heading back into iron forge and then maybe we'll make our way over there and we'll deal with some leper gnomes and some trolls I've never done this warrior quest before. I've done the one in uh, Elwyn Forest. And that was way back in the day. That was during the, the 2019 Classic WoW beta. I was actually going to play a human warrior. But uh, my friends wanted to play a horde. So I ended up being an orc. The reason why I wanted to play human in Alliance was not only because, like, I don't know, they're just better for PvE, but I never really played much Alliance back then, so I just wanted to check out and see what it's like. I enjoy questing. I like the Alliance, like, questing zones. Duskwood, Redridge Mountain. And then eventually they all become somewhat similar. You know, we all end up in Stranglethorn Vale and Ungoro Crater, Tenaris. Could have used my hearth, but I guess, I don't know, why is no point in using it now? <laughs> We're already here. Yeah, we'll check this out. Hopefully it's not, it doesn't give us too tough of a quest. Still have eight minutes on our fortitude, but I think that'll be gone by then. Um, but we will be using our o oil of o o Olaf for the 50 armor and also our food puff. Another reason why I want to start slaying some more of these boars is because we need to get our cooking up to 25 so we can learn how to cook that, uh, that beer blasted boar meat. So we can always have that buff. Ironforge is awesome, man. You can die there. Just stand on the hot coals. It would be brutal if you were, like, in Ironforge and then some shadow priest came or, like, somebody, like, controlled your mind and just put you on the hot coals and you died. What a rough death. I wonder if they're going to release a PvP hardcore server. What's on your mind? You're in Stormpike. Ah, Travisine, I heard the warriors of Dunmoreau <laughs> bouncing your name around. I hope you haven't spent all your time in the breweries. Safe travels. If you want to rise in the ranks of the warriors, 
then you better be tough. I can teach you new moves, but before that, prove to me that you can handle yourself against real foes. Bedrek is the toughest troll you'll find in these parts, and he's who you'll have to beat. He has a hut in the foothills just to the south of Rossmain Hold. Bring me Vedrek's head, and I'll know you have metal. See you soon. Okay, well, it looks like we gotta get Vedrek's head. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be really tough. Take a little picture here. I don't know if we'll use that as a screenshot. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Another quest here. I'll fight for Warsong Gulch. We'll never go in there. You can actually queue up for BGs. I don't know who the heck would do that, though. It's kind of funny, though, because the BG just ends once everyone... like <laughs> that, All it is is, like, the first fight. You have to stay grouped up. And uh, the, the team that loses that first fight loses the BG. It's kind of wild, actually. I wonder if anybody will ever do that, like a 10v10 in Warsaw Gulch. Hardcore. At level 60. Alright, so here we go. Looks like, uh, there's the, there's the head. Vedrick's head's right down there. It's a level 11 quest. Sounds tough. Yeah, I'll see if we can handle it. Well, these guys are giving me buffs, man. Come on, Paladin. Come on, do it. Damn it. Bless me, Paladin. I am off to slay Strong Troll to the south. How kind of you. There we go. <laughs> you weren't allowed to do that. That was a rule. It's another rule you couldn't do. You were never allowed to ask for buffs. But we're not we're not playing that way no more. It's it's better to not play that way. It's more fun. Rules are cool though. Like if you've if you've I think I would do the hardcore challenge rules. If, um, again, if there was, like, a certain challenge I wanted to, to be, like, a, like a solo self-found style. That's what I did on my Night Elf Rogue. Like, we never joined a group. We never did a dungeon. Didn't group up for any quests. It was pretty much solo the entire way. No, tr no auction house. No trading. And that's, it's a smart way of leveling. Like, doing dungeons is very risky. Okay, good. We got a boar here. Let's deal with them. Do a little, get a little warm up with this boar. There we go. We got some boar meat. Nice. Buried us. Could really use another weapon. I think that's all the way up there. We can't get it. Yeah. It's too bad. It's 
So hopefully there's headhunters up there too. That we can slay for one of the quests. I'm saving my buffs for now, just so probably use them when we get close we start doing the quest. You don't get much of a of a blast like five minutes. It's one thing about classic. <laughs> They don't give you much at the early part, like early parts, like busting a mite only every. Is that another paladin? Jerry Jones, the owner of the Dallas Cowboys. What's he rocking with? He's got power for fortitude and devotion aura. What a beast. Maybe you'll see us and be like, hey, you know what? I'm going to re bless him. Maybe we can get another blessing from Jerry. Is that a priest? Oh, another paladin. <laughs> you gotta ask. It's the only way you get it. That will be alright. It's an offensive buff. Here we are back at Brunel Village. Got any junk on us? No, we got a couple of uh, a couple of meats here. We'll make them. There we go. I'm a little worried today, guys. I don't know if we're gonna be able to pull this up. Should we do first? Probably head over to Frostmane and we'll try to get this this head intelligence from the mage. It's not a bad buff. Helps us level our our weapons faster when you have more intelligence. It's a dwarf priest. Bless me, priest. I'm fighting a troll to the south. To the south. Oh, he just runs away? <laughs> dirty, dirty dwarf. <laughs> he doesn't like humans. Dwarves are like that. Remember when I RP'd? Um... On Grobulus as a dwarf hunter, like it was in a guild that was all dwarfs. And they're just known to be, you know, kind of prejudiced towards other races. Maybe he's playing by the rules. Who knows? If he's playing by the rules, then he probably he probably wasn't allowed to do that. So I think it's better for me just to not ask, because maybe he can just... Because you are you are allowed to just give buffs. But you're not allowed to just... You know, you're not allowed to be a part of, like, a... Can't give buffs to people who ask. Well, the cave's over here. Let's see how we do. Gotta make some coin. Get wrecked here. Hope I don't have to use a health pot. Parries my... my attack. Let's use that bandage to get our health up quick. I think it's about time we, we used our buffs. So let's have some beer bastard boar ribs. And then we'll make our way to the troll camp.
There we go. Only level seven? Don't want to charge just in case I pull too many. Frost main sword. Ooh. Much better than our sword. Upgrades. Nice. We'll take it. I want you for these headhunters. Any trolls around there? I don't know. Maybe we can charge them. Kind of risky doing that. It's level nine. Damn, we blocked them there. Finish them. There we go. All right. No Strider. Doesn't look like he's near anybody, so we're good. Does he heal? Oh, put a debuff on us. Armor reduced by 192. That is brutal. He's pretty weak, though. God, I don't want to get near that camp at all. It's a death camp right there. Okay, well, we, we snuck in to the cave. Let's see how we do. There's a paladin in here. Maybe he'll hook us up. We want to wait until we lose this fairy fire buff. Come on, man. Give the buff. Give the buff. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I would just be giving buffs out like it's nothing, man. I think he was waiting for me to talk to him. That's why you want a gun. Alright. Seems like we're alright. They like to run, though, so you gotta watch out with that. Here comes another fairy fire debuff. No Shrider guys kind of suck. Just to give you that, that debuff. Shadowcaster over there. What's this guy doing? He's scared, eh? You can group up with him. Help him out. Oh, wow, we got a whole gang of dwarves coming in. Nice level seven running here. Look at this gang. Oh, nice a headhunter. We caught a caught a headhunter. <laughs> Caster down there. These guys are brave. Level 8 in these caves. Say bless. There we go. <laughs> That's all you gotta say. Say bless. Thank you. There we go. I'll clear this place out.
Got a debuff, it will be okay. Got a lot of rage. Not that paladin's trying to get that ore. Just clearing this place out. Did he get the ore? No, he didn't. Let's see if he gets it. Yeah, he wants it. A lot of engineers. A lot of people want to be engineers. Don't blame them. So we're just hunting for headhunters. That's what we are doing here. This cave, cave seems to be getting cleared out. Shadow caster right there. Probably spawn pretty quick. There's a headhunter. Pull him back. <laughs> block. Pull him back. I want to fight two headhunters. Come on. What are you doing? Oh, he's throwing stuff now. Oh, crap. We're in trouble. Up this way. Wow, we got so lucky. <laughs> We're gonna die there. <laughs> okay, we'll join their crew. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, get out of here. There you go, guys. The battle show buffs. That was scary, man. We still need another headhunter? A uh, corpse of Buckshot Bob. Buckshot Bob died. <laughs> it's too bad. I think I'm done here, but there's a chest here. Here, I'll roll in. Oh, they don't want to roll for it? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Whatever. What'd they get? A little bit of stuff there. Eh? Yeah, two headhunters, that would have been rough. I think we would have survived though. We got we had buffs. Don't give me the debuff. Got some serious debuffs right now. Priest in this group. Got a paladin, warrior, and Nagnazul. Tonder. Got like every different class in here. It's time to go. Get out of here, guys. There we go. He got his quest done. It's another way you can play, too. You can just play as a group and it'd be hard to kill you. Take on the whole world, man.
All right, so here we go. It's time for us to leave. Yeah, GG. Kind of them to invite us. Might have saved my life there. I don't know. The two headhunters grunting at us. So this is where this guy supposedly is supposedly in a hut up here. Vedrek, level 11. Do you have any friends? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, we gotta go in hot here. We're gonna use everything on him. Marbles. We're gonna go in marbles. Glowing wax stick. Let's do it. Well, we're not doing a lot of damage. Okay, marbles. Yeah, all the debuffs. Can't even use glowing wax stick. Here we go, we're doing damage. Nice block. Get him, get him. Go. Perfect. Got his head, guys. Can't believe we pulled it off. Let's have a bite to eat. It's so freaky, man. It's like no going back when you go when you charge in. There's no running away. So we used marbles, and then we weren't allowed to use glowing wax stick. All right, let's keep on going. Maybe we should, what should we do now? Should we go up to fight the... Yeah, maybe we should go fight the gnomes. Gotta watch out here. About to lose our food buff, too. Well, we need to find some more boars. Really could use some more boar meat. There's a boar right there. Deal with the map for this. Oh, this guy's gonna attack him. He wants to bore me. Say bless, bless, bless. Yes. Yes. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Thank you for the bless. We're breaking all the rules today. I know I keep talking about that, but I don't know. It's just. It's kind of strange for me to be breaking these rules. I used to be terrified of, of like, breaking them for, like, over a hundreds of hours. Over a hundred hours. Longer than that. Because if you broke if you broke one rule, that means your character wasn't valid. And, uh, you wouldn't get, you know, put onto the hardcore list. But I now think that's... It's something of the past. Like, I, I, I don't think the hardcore community on this server will really get really care about that. But there will be people that, you know, want to get on that leaderboard and, and, I know, challenge themselves. So it's cool that they still have it. I wonder if there's guilds that only allow people that are... that are verified... by the add-on.
Probably is. Okay, nice. Boar meat. Have some meat right now. Get two stamp, two spirit here. For another 15 minutes. Try to farm all these boars here. Keep leveling up our cooking. Should hit uh, level 11 today, I hope. Mm. Got a bear coming, wanna watch out. Another boar there. Probably gonna get tagged. Damn it. I just, I just one shot that boar. Gotta watch out here. We can, yeah, we can mine this. Nice. Alright, so we're in the area where all the leper gnomes are. Yeah, I think those guys might have saved my life in that cave. <laughs> guys are level 9 here. We gotta watch out. Any more leper gnomes in there? Well, looks like we don't have a choice now. Pull them out. Pull them away. You just give us a... No, try to... Get us something there. Let's use marbles on them. I don't want to pull anything else here. Damn it. Debuff sucks. Oh no. Okay, we gotta stop hitting that guy. Maybe we should keep hitting him. I don't know. No, we shouldn't. Run this way. The other guy ran. Can still fight this guy. Nice heal by that paladin. Dumb heal, dude. Dude, don't heal. Oh my gosh, dude. Is he okay? Here. Thanks, boss. Yeah, thanks. Damn, that was close. That was <laughs> a scary moment right there. Oh, man. Leopard gnomes are no joke. So when you get this debuff, like, strength reduced by two, that's kind of rough. That was scary, dude. Oh, man. Stick with the crag boars. I was so worried about that paladin, too. Like, he healed me, and then they, 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 they re aggro to him. Yeah, you really have to watch out. The leper gnome there. Let's have a bite to eat. I think we'll go go and attack him here. Nice. Thank you for that. Mage Frostbolt hits hard, man. Finally got a gear. How's this guy doing? Got him. This guy we can deal with, I think. Nice, you got some shots on him. And I'll be here for a while trying to pick these guys off. We almost died to one of these guys. 
the first time we came here one just came like like right here came over this hill here and like bought me a level nine four over there Good place, you know, we get the quest done and we can farm these Kragdors to try to get as much meat as we can. Filling up on loot here, too. We're pretty close to Brunel Village, so we can sell a lot of junk. I found a chest. We can fight this guy. Oh, it's, looking, it's looking like we're doing okay. Bitey. You gotta watch out for those snow leopards that run around here. Oh, crap. Okay, we gotta run. And the leopard? Oh my gosh, just run, dude. Don't get dazed. Leopard's after me. We'll keep running. <laughs> Gosh, this is brutal. I think we just go black, guys. We're just getting rocked. Like, we're just getting wrecked. This is not worth... We're not playing safe. That was scary, man. We could have died there. Getting lucky, man. I gotta pull out the cam. Yeah, the cam needs to be pulled out all the way. It's the only way we survive in this zone. Yeah, it would be a shame to die before we even get like a, a warrior stance. Guy okay? Yeah, he's fine. Don't attack that. Kill this leopard. Get, get, oh. get out of here. These, run, these leopards that just keep running around are trouble. Do a little practice here. See that? You can get a quick hit. Run away. Quick hit. Quick hit. He's got the speed now. See what you're trying to do there? We're trying to hit him before he hits us, and then we run out of range for him to hit us. That's the goal. And then we just never get hit. Problem is, is when you run around, you can run into more mobs and then it just becomes even more of a headache. So that's why you probably want to be zoomed out. I know it looks more like aesthetically, it looks better like this, the game, but I don't know, it's scary. We've had a too many scary scenarios today. We need to just survive. <laughs> 
practice on this guy. How are we doing on bag space? Doing all right. All right, so should we head over to where all the gnomes are? The leper gnomes? Gonna hit level 11 soon. That should make quite quite a difference. Get him. I got this guy. He's mine. Nice. It's a free realm. These guys are only level 8, some of them. This guy's gonna hit me with the the 5 minute debuff and reduce strength. There you go, guys. Level 11. We made it. that pull away so we don't run into anything pull away Go over here not really doing too well <laughs> let's get him down infantry bracers 45 armor put him on gotta watch out here it's eat up Oh, it's just Dwarf Paladin's a lunatic. It's got to be with some other people, man. Level 8 Dwarf Paladin here? Oh, crap. Probably do some fishing. If we can't get our food up to 25... Oh my gosh, dude. Don't worry, I got him, dude. Live, dude. Fight that guy. No, dude. What are you doing? This guy's dead. I can't help him like that. I can help... I can take one off your hands, but not two, man. I hope he lives. Yes, he did it. What a beast. Look at him. Look at him run home. Where are we? Who are we in combat with? We gotta run this way if we're in combat. Is that our guy? Got a warlock. Is he our guy? No. Who are we in combat with? That has to be him. Yeah. It, that it wasn't our kill, though, but we were in combat. Oh, crap. I think we got our food up. Seem to be okay right now. I don't want to move too much because you can just move into a spawning, a spawned, uh, like one of these uh, leper gnomes who's just spawned out of nowhere. Got three silver right now. We're going to have enough to buy a gun soon, guys. Damn it. 
Hit him. Let's finish him off here. Let's use a bandage this time. Debuff's falling off soon. going to tee off on him. I can take that boar. Need the boar meat. We've run out of meat already. <laughs> Starting to eat a lot more since we're fighting mobs that actually hurt us quite a bit here. Get a hit in. Hit him. There you go. A bite to eat. There's oh, damn it. upper no. Damn it. I don't know if we can win this. Maybe. Gotta be able to win this. He's gonna cast, right? He's gonna cast that ability. No, oh, another one. Run. No. Oh, we gotta run. Damn it. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Is this the one that's dead? Oh. Another one on me? This guy's gonna get the ore. Damn it. <laughs> Let's have a bite to eat. Are we safe? I got bandage. Let's bandage. I start remembering that. I forget you can bandage in combat. Barely get any health from that. It's better than nothing, though. Let's eat up. We lost our food buff. Yeah, that, that part, that place over there is dangerous, man. What the heck? Where'd that guy come from? That was a <laughs> stealth rogue. <laughs> he wanted to take that target down. Okay, let's get up another food buff. That's our last one, guys. It means we're going fishing. Because we need to get our... We only have two chunks of boar meat. We need a couple more if we want to get our cooking up. But we'd have to learn a recipe, though, if we want to be able to cook, cook fish. We're all right with this, with this boar. Yeah, we don't have a fish recipe to cook. To look into that. It's kind of dangerous over there. Bring him back. We'll bring him back. Bring him back. Yeah, we'll fight you right here. Yeah, he's getting wrecked. Another boar right there, and a leper gnome. The gnome's just... That was an interesting spot. Get rid of this, uh, this pant and this leopard. I don't really like this leopard over here. I think there's an ore. Just over here. Let's go get that.
Mining is at level 42. Not bad. We're getting there. Just want to get our level up high enough so we can get tin. But we'll probably want more just because we want to be able to level our engineering with it. Alright, so this it's looking kind of safe over here to fight this, uh, this gnome. Damn, he's still hitting us pretty quick. Oh, he's gonna curse us. We got that curse for five minutes. Alright, just need one more of each. And we're done. Never have to fight the leper gnomes ever again. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. These bubble? I must have. Don't even get close to him. Take this guy off his hands, though. Damn it. You gotta watch out, because if you use an ability around them, they can re aggro to you. That's why when you're running away, you don't want to use, like, any abilities. You just want to run. You don't want to hit them either. So if you hit them, it's a good chance you'll, uh, they'll continue to chase you, right? There's another leper gnome. We can get this guy. There we go. We're done. Alright. Nice. So what do we do now? I guess we go to Karanos. And then on the way to Karanos, we will, uh... Slay Boris, like this guy. Can't believe it's been an hour. <laughs> Goes pretty quick. This episode will probably be just, just over an hour. Maybe we'll call it in Karanos. Talk to this guy though and make some sales. What can I do for you? Two-handed sword. You don't have one of those. Can't use them though either. There we go. Perfect. Safe travel. Could cook some food, but do that back at the at Karanos. There's another boar. Probably fight him. Bring him with us. Yeah, today was a scary day. We almost died a couple times. <laughs> Seen some people almost die too. Seen a couple of bodies in the in the cave. It's a war out here in Dunmore. Hopefully we can make it back to Karanos in one piece. How are we doing on coin? Eight silver, guys. Nice. Not too bad.
Level six. Give us some meat. A lot of boars over here. Yeah, so we should be close to Karanos now. turn in this quest and since our cooking's not doing too well I, I don't know if there's a cook in there but um, maybe we will do a little bit of fishing next episode Cash, catch some fish I think we can afford a fishing recipe we should be able to nice mace there one-handed mace. Not as good as our sword, but pretty good. Those gnomes scared me a little bit. I thought they were leopard gnomes. <laughs> All right, so let's turn this in. My, you're a the recombobulator will end up... will be up and running as soon as we have sufficient restabilization cogs and gyro mechanic gears. These time. gyro mechanic gears and restabilization cogs are in perfect accordance with Ozzy's schematics for the recombobulation device. Once I add some hydro lubricant to the inner combustion pr pistons, adjust the cranko ratchet, and increase the viscosity of the electro gum gel. The gnomish race will be as good as new. So what do we want? Not pretty much nothing here. I think the hands might be worth more. Be seeing you. Let me install the gyro mechanic gears and restabilization cogs and we'll fire up the recombobulator. Should do the trick. Time to save the entire gnomish race. Here it goes. Back to the drawing board. I was thinking the same thing. Hi, how are you? There we go. All right, guys. That was interesting. Now back to Karanos. We got one more quest to turn in. We'll turn in the warrior tra trainer quest next episode. We'll make our way back to. We could do it today, actually. There's a little. It's only just over an hour. What if there's a cook in here? A cook in in Ironforge, though. He probably has a fishing recipe or a recipe that cooks fish. We'll have to look into that. Uh, Travisine, I didn't think you'd have much trouble finding the place. My directions are excellent, you know. Let me just finish up my report then. He brings out some paper and scribbles on it momentarily. There. Well, haha. -ha. Now, this certainly is funny. I don't suppose, Travisine, that you would mind doing one last favor for me. Watch your back. The report's excellent. Take my report to Senator Baron Redstone. He's a sour type, so don't. Let his less than sunny disposition get to you. He's an Ironforge in the chamber where King Magni holds court. I don't know the way to Ironforge. Take the road out of Karanos North, cross the bridge, then follow the road east. There are large banners flanking the road up the mountainside. By the way, if you might avoid mentioning how you assisted me, can't let them think I'm not working hard out here, you know? Safe travels. All right, so there we go. So let's... Uh, Let's head back to Ironforge. And that's a pretty damn nice shield right there, guys. That's an upgrade. 
three block on it. 161 armor. Compared to our 79 armor, one block shield. All right, so we're back. I don't think there's a cooking trainer in here. And what we'll do now is we'll go turn in these two quests. I think we have to go this way. Pretty sure. We can buy a gun right now. Probably go buy a gun at the gun shop. I don't know if anybody's selling them cheaper. We could check the auction house. I think they're 475 For the gun at the gun shop. Oh, there's uh, the high seat. Looks pretty badass. Big Magni. Let's have a chat here with Senator hey, Baron Redstone. You. Hmm. It would seem that the guards beca are becoming less discriminatory or with petitioners. Well, what do you want? Make it quick. Less discriminatory. I guess Watch he means talking mind. like that because I'm a human. A report on the state of the Frost Mage trolls in the general area of Dunmoreau. The trolls situated in Dunmoreau are largely centralized in Frostbane Old, a mountain cave on the western border. They have sufficient numbers to cause some concern. However, they seem more than content to stay in their cave. This is no doubt because they do not wish to incur the wrath of the dwarves again and risk total extermination. Their actions can be considered territorial, if anything, and it is. Two. I believe that they pose no real threat to us so long as we do not encroach upon their territory. This may be a situation unappealing to a dwarven populace, but given the dispersal of military resources, it may be prudent to relegate the extermination of the trolls to a lower level of importance and continue to focus on the threat posed by the trogs and the dark irons. Enclosed, you will also find a copy of my brother Grellin's report on Anvilmar, signed Senior Whitebeard. quickly pauses the report. Authority of the king. Has Magni taken complete leave of his senses? And that damnable whitebeard taken matter into his own hands, has he? The senate will not be pleased to hear about this, not one bit. But are you still here? Go before I call the guards. See you soon. He's probably surprised that a human came to deliver the report. All right, so off to the military ward. Can we still do the the, the other warrior quest now? No, it's gone. Can't do the, the other one. The other one's pretty cool. You go to a bar, and I think you have to fight some guy in a bar. In Stormwind. But we're doing... We did the... We did the dwarf one, I guess. Let's check it out. Have you been to Vedrek's hut, Travisine? Is that troll stink I smell on you? Watch your back. Vedrek sure was an ugly one, eh? Nicely done, Travisine. You have what it takes. Now let's start your lesson. You may not know it, but a strong defense is very important to a warrior. It keeps him standing against foes that fell that have fell others. And that's what your allies need. Now that you've learned some moves, it's time to get you a decent we weapon. Speak to Tormus Deepforge. He can make you a weapon I'm sure you'll like. You'll find him, you'll find Tormus in Ironforge at the Great Forge. Golganar, Agarmoth, Rudagum, Dun, Dun, Ta Dun, Dun. All right. Your warrior trainer? No, this is the warrior trainer here. No! Learn rent, but I don't want to waste the coin. Keep your feet on the ground. 
I just want to take a peek and see like how much the gun costs. I know it's four silver, but maybe the auction house will actually be cheaper. We'll go and get this weapon forged. What can I do for you? Let me sell for you today. 414, that's a pretty good price. I don't think they got a better one than that. Thing is, it's not as good as, as a gun, of a gun. But what does it matter? We just want to shoot, right? We're not. I'm trying to be a hunter here. All right, so we got a gun. That's good. Got to make sure we equip that. There's our gun. The Ornate Blunderbuss. Nice. Now we just got to make some ammo. Don't have the mats on me right now. Sure can make a lot of blasting powder now, though. Good. Yeah, maybe we'll head back to... Might be time to head back to Galwin Forest, guys. You got my attention. Tormus Deforge. Murin sent you? Did he? Yes, I can make you a nice weapon. Before I do that, I have a favor to ask you. <laughs> Don't worry, it's plenty dangerous and could mean your death. It's exactly the sort of job a warrior wants. Back. My mentor, Sturgy Ironband, has a compound south of Helm's Bed Lake in eastern Dunmoreau. There's, There he taught blacksmithing and he was the best. But one day one of his students brought him a load of strange ore. Master Ironband called it Umbral Ore and was eager to work with it. But soon after it arrived, a band of Dark Iron Dwarves attacked his compound. They killed everyone. Enter Iron Band's compound, Travseed, and avenge my master's death. Then bring me the load of Umbral Ore that caused it. You serious? Where is that? All the way over there. Oh my gosh. The human quest is so much better, man. I wish I never took that quest. <laughs> Damn it. Now we gotta go slay I Dark Iron Dwarves. That's tough. We're... Yeah, it's a level. Yeah, that's a tough one. Yeah, well, we'll have to... Maybe we'll do that next episode. I still want to go back to Elwyn Forest, though. Or maybe we'll do some fishing. And try to get... We really do need beer bastard borers. We need more of those. Yeah, maybe we'll do some fishing, slay some boars, just chill out. Try to get our cooking up. Obviously, we'll make uh, some ammo as well. Make some light shot for our gun. Yeah, guys, that is going to be the end of today's episode. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later. Mm -hmm.